caught them. Nicer fish, nicer fish. Big head shakes. Oh my That's goodness. That's a tank, dude. Oh my god, Cody, this is the biggest wall I've ever caught. This is the biggest wall I've ever had on my line. Wow. Well, would you look at that? We brought some stuff out here. Yes, we did. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to NB Edits. And today's video is going to be a good one. This is something that we really do not do on the channel a whole lot. I think last year was the very first time that we actually filmed, as you read by the title, a winter ice fishing camping video. Now, obviously, if you guys are subscribed to the channel and have been for quite some time, you know we love ice fishing. And also, within the last couple of years, we've been doing a lot of camping, a lot of truck camping. So I know a lot of you guys like watching that content as well. So we figured, you know, what's the best thing to do? Combine both of them. So I got my good friend, Cody S here. If you guys wanna check him out, it'll be down in the description. But we are out here today on one of my all-time favorite walleye lakes and yes we are going to be walleye fishing on top of the early ice camping so what we're going to be doing is well as you can tell by all the stuff that we brought we brought my big six man we got the uh 20 pound propane we got rods for iFish pros we got camera gear we got cots we got sleeping bags we have tip-ups we have minnows we have food we have so much stuff it is actually absurd but the ice is not thick enough to bring a snowmobile or a four-wheeler out here. So we, unfortunately, had to drag this quite a ways to this spot. Luckily, with that warm spell, we actually, uh, ice is pretty good. It's nice and solid, no slush, very, very limited on uh, snow, which is, which is great, just enough for some traction. So yeah, we're gonna start by first, we're gonna drill some holes. We are going to be set up um, on a hump. I can talk more about that later once we get going, but we're gonna drill some holes find a good spot to set up the shack and we're gonna begin this ice camping adventure. So stay tuned guys. This one's gonna be a really really good episode. I'm excited for this and I am really excited because this lake has an opportunity of some absolute giant walleye. So Cody, let's start drilling some holes and get this video started. Let's do it Nick. Okay, so what we just did the last half an hour is we drilled some holes you can see the one here one here one there and one out there and then right there is where we're going to be setting up the shack so we went ahead i brought my aqua view and one thing that i really really enjoy doing and like to do when i'm walleye fishing is to bring an underwater camera and to send it down and check every single hole now it's something that probably not a lot of people do a lot of people will get to the spot and just send it down check with the depth finder and you know make sure you're on hard bottom yada 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 but aqua view really helps because like i was saying in the intro the spot that we're going to be fishing is a hump and on top of the hump is a weed line and i want to be as close to that weed line as i possibly can without getting the minnows stuck in there obviously so each one of these holes we specifically drilled out so they're about five to ten feet away from a major weed line and we're going from a sandy rocky gravelly bottom um, that comes out from the deep up to this hump um, and then turns straight into green weeds and green weeds are especially important this time of the year because they are going to be holding bait fish and oxygen and those fish are going to be coming up there and munching so we got the tip ups there the shack is a little bit deeper that's just kind of on that transition line where it comes from the deep and kind of right on that in between before we get to the weeds and the top of that hump so we're right on the middle just a sand flat we're going to be jigging in there but now that we got that all set up now we're going to set up the shack and get all the stuff inside so let's go do it man well as you can tell shack is all set up let me uh pop on in here quick and we got cody what are you doing cody you know i'm trying to find my joby well <laughs> that's helpful yeah so as you can tell here i am in my uh big six man that brandon and i purchased and you can tell we got cody's cot here my cot over here home sweet home we got the mr buddy there with the 20 pound tank right there go back in here 
we've got two holes one for a transducer here one for jigging transducer one for jigging i got my live scope unit and cody has his live scope unit a little bit of an overkill but this is the setup absolutely gonna be awesome got the foam padding right here so that way our feet don't get wet when we uh get out of these bibs and boots and everything but yeah i'm gonna step out here so you guys can probably see me the lighting's a little bad in there but that is what we're going to be rocking with so plan of attack tonight is we are going to be setting some tip-ups but i also do have some ifish pros with me so as you can tell these are the ifish pros I'll show you guys how i like to use these basically it's a tip-up but you get to use your favorite rod so if i walk over here to my sled you can see i got two rods here because i'm going to be setting two ifish pros right here i got the brand new frostbite drench this is Pretty much all around walleye rod this is a 39 inch medium light fiberglass really handles the fish really well i've got that paired up with a thousand series pc fun honor x this is the first time i've used this reel so really excited to use this hopefully we get some flags on the ifish pro but yeah basically set those up it acts as a tip up you get to fight the fish on a rod instead of using your hand so we're gonna go ahead get the minnows get the tackle we're gonna head to the holes, start setting some flags. And honestly, as you can tell, probably behind me with the sun, it's not gonna be too long. So we are in a little bit of a deeper water um, leading up to that hump. So hopefully the fish are hungry and uh, let's get fishing. All right, so made it to the first hole. Got the iFish Pro here. This hole specifically that I'm setting this tip up in is pretty much right on a sand to a weed line like I talked about. It's about 13 feet of water and about 100 yards I'd say that way it's about 60 feet and about 50 yards that way it's probably 8, 9, 10 feet of water with weeds. So perfect transition like I said got my frostbite rod here. First step just the same as setting a tip up going to get a depth finder out, send it down, oh we're making some ice apparently, we already got some ice on the holes, we just drilled those, we're going to send that down to the bottom, alright, found bottom, no bottoms right there, I can feel it, basically just going to set it six inches from the bottom, because we are dealing with hard bottom here, so then I'm going to pick this back up if I can got my bobber stop here we're just gonna knock this all the way down to get it close to where we're setting that depth I'm gonna just recheck it quick all right go six inches from the bottom that's right where the bottom is when I have my rod set we're gonna reel it up take the depth finder off Get yourself a minnow. Oh God, yeah. <laughs> oh God. <clears throat> you just gotta get a man. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I can't open it. Oh my god. Alright, well that is frozen solid and that will be heading into the shack because that is freaking ridiculous. What we're using for bait of choice tonight is some walleye suckers. I'm gonna go ahead, hook that guy, send him down to the bottom. Alright, so now you got that down on the bottom. We're gonna set the rod in the iFish Pro. Move the line. And basically we got a tab here. That goes right underneath the flag. We're gonna set it on light. And basically, you leave your bail open so that way the line can rip down. Fish comes, pulls the tab down that I just showed you guys, trigger the flag, we'll come over. Catch the 10 pound walleye, hopefully. Right, Cody? That's what we're hoping for. And that's pretty much how you set an iFish Pro. Basically, like I said, it's a tip up. You get to fight it on your favorite rod. So, we're gonna go ahead and set one more of these. We're gonna set two tip ups. And uh, yeah, then we're going to start jigging and hopefully start pounding some fish. Look at this. Absolutely gorgeous sunset. And 
we got all the tip-ups in as you noticed over there maybe you can see it maybe you can't oh there's a tip-up and if you look over here oh there's another tip-up we literally just got set up cody actually just caught like a nice 20 inch walleye on that deeper one we just haven't gotten a chance to set it yet this tip up just went up so i'm going to be taking it here it is just beginning to get into prime time and we just were about to go in the shack and uh start jigging but i have a feeling we're not going to be able to jig for quite some time so i'm going to hand the camera over to cody and we're going to see if we can catch a walleye here oh yeah he's here Oh, well, no movement yet out of it, but it did just twitch just a little bit. That's kind of what Cody's did. We got to it. It wasn't spinning, but it already had the minnow in its stomach. So probably going to just check it because we are... Oh, there he goes. Just twitched a little bit. We are going to be getting a lot of flags. Usually this lake at sunset is pretty dynamite, so we're not going to waste too much time. We're just going to go ahead and take it, see if there's a fish, which there is. There we go. He's not bad see it Cody just caught like a 20 inch and that might just be a replica of what Cody just caught maybe a little smaller but as you can tell gorgeous gorgeous colors not a giant fish I'm really excited to get in the shack we'll probably just be able to pound a ton of these probably you know 18 19 inch walleyes just beautiful I mean the colors are so awesome I'm not gonna spend too much time you can see look at this minnow he munched it and that we had a decent sized sucker on this so if this guy is hitting it's gonna be a hell of a night all right it is cold so we're not gonna spend too much time with these walleyes look at that all right well middle might be alive we're gonna go ahead and test them i don't know we're gonna try to get back into the shack we got to reset that tip up still so right now we only have two in commish we're gonna get this guy back down here and i have a feeling it won't be long and we're gonna get another tip up all right, so I got my rod set up. We were just about to get jigging. Uh, this is going to be a trend here where we try to get jigging the entire night. Um, iFish Pro just went up here and it is running. And then we got a tip up right there too. Also running. Also running. Cody just had Cody just had a really big fish on the iFish Pro right next to us come off. And uh, it, was, it was a heartbreak. Got him. Nicer fish, nicer fish. Big head shakes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Cody, that's a tank. That's a nice fish, that's dude. A tank. Oh my that's goodness. A that's a tank, dude. <laughs> oh my god, that shocked me. Cody just missed a giant, and I am hooked up with a giant. Oh my goodness, dude. Oh my God, Cody, this is the biggest wall I've ever had. This is the biggest wall I've ever had on my line. It looks magnified in the water, but oh my God. Dude. Dude, that's 30. Oh that's 30. God. Oh my God. That thing is a dang dude. Oh my God. Can you get his head up on the gravel? Oh my God. I'm not going to touch the line. Run. I can't He's even. stuck. He's stuck. Yeah, I can't even turn him. You're gonna have to. There you go. There you go. Oh, he's not ready. There you go. Dude! <laughs> Dude! That oh, is a freaking tank. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, that one's running. I can see it oh running. Oh my god. Guys, that's my PB. Oh my 100%. God. That might. That's gotta be like a 29 inch fish. It's gotta be close, man. Oh my god. That's. That thing is. Eight pounds bad. all day. All day, oh every day. Goodness, dude. Oh my god. Oh, now I'm pissed I lost that fish before. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Here. Can I have those? And I'm not using trebles on these iFish Pros. I'm using circle hooks. This is a new thing that I've been trying to do here because a lot of these fish, when you're when you're ice fishing, will swallow it. Well, guys, all of its glory here, quick. We're getting a quick measurement. 28, maybe uh, 28 and an eighth. <sighs> It That's a freaking giant. We got him on hooks. We got another tip up. Okay, guys, not my PB. My PB is 28 and a half up here in northern Wisconsin, but definitely a nice fish. It's a tank, dude. I mean, this thing's got to be, man, 28 inches. I think they figure these fish to be around nine pounds. We got an eight inch hole here. This is a healthy, healthy fish. Make sure you take good care of them. 
There we go. That is one hell of a way. <laughs> that one's still bite. running, dude. I keep looking yeah. at it. You can take that one. I don't need to catch <laughs> another fish this, the rest of the night. That dude, was incredible. That was but if that's hitting already, we got a long night ahead of us. <laughs> oh, well, I'm in bed. It's probably around 4.30, 5 o'clock. And we finally have made it to the tent. We took the bibs off. About to take my boots off and probably get up on here. But, as you can tell, I got my jigging rod set up. Right now I have a medium size gold dinner bell on with a minnow head for tipping on the treble hook. I've seen a couple fish already swim through on the live scope. And we've probably had, what, two or three more tip ups since uh, that last giant. But we, we have not been prepared at all. We are finally, I think, are you ready, Cody? Are you I actually ready? I am now ready. I got a battery in the camera, lights on the camera. All right, so apparently we're actually ready now. So we're gonna begin. Everything's ready to go. We're gonna actually begin jigging and see if we can get some of these fish jigging. Oh man, so currently we are in a big lull. We are marking so many fish coming through on the live scope right now, if I turn around. You can see, look at, this is my bait right here. That's, coming That's a right fish right, right there. So what we've been seeing so far is these fish come in and they either are swimming really fast, just straight past our bait and not even acknowledging it, or they come in and they take a peek and they look at it like this one right under me right now. Come on. Oh, he's like right on me. It's a big fish. Nothing. So you can see he's just swimming away, mind his own business. We have not gotten a tip up now for probably a good half an hour. I got another fish on me right now. I got one on me too, dude. There's so many fish down there. We've probably marked 30 fish. I kid you not, but they're just not hitting. So eventually they will be hitting. I don't know when that will be. Um, usually it is pretty common to get a lull when you're walleye fishing. Oh, uh, Cody, please. Wow, no, that, was, it, the, that, that so, one was the most aggressive. What we're doing right now to pass the time getting entertained with our live scope units until they start biting is we got some wieners cooking. Actually, they're brats. Brats! But that's what we got going. We got the grill. Thank you, Cody, for bringing the grill. That is clutch. So yeah, as of right now, we're currently just chilling, really not uh, doing a whole lot. Cooking some food, figure this is the best time for it because, well, nothing else really going on obviously i caught that 28 so everything is fine and dandy as of right now i don't even need to catch another walleye i'm sure we will i'm sure the low is only going to last a little bit here it is supposed to be a full moon tonight so i'm pretty sure once that moon comes out these fish are going to get all fired up again so we'll see what happens but for right now i'm gonna wait for these brass to get done and uh we're gonna stuff our face with some meat what do you think cody sounds like a good plan <laughs> oh god absolute perfection thank you cody you're welcome appreciate it well this is just perfect way that i envision camping going catch a big walleye get some brats mm. that's pretty good cody. is it good thank god we got a lot bro this is gonna hit the spot i think i just heard it tip up go up i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna eat this we're gonna wait for another fish next time you guys see me Hopefully, we will be hooked up on another big walleye, so stay tuned. Looks to be the lull has finally started to end. Cody just caught back-to-back -back fish, and while we were out here, uh, we noticed that an iFish Pro is up. So I was under the impression that Cody put tip-up lights on these, uh, but he thought I put tip-up lights on these. So we have no idea how long this rod has been up for. Um, also, as you can tell, maybe you can't because the lighting is a bit hard out here in the dark. Um, these things are really getting frozen. So what we're probably gonna end up doing here, after I check this tip up, uh, we are gonna take it in and we are gonna switch it for some tip ups just because it's kind of hard to maneuver with these once it starts to freeze up. I don't even know if that could fit too. Well, no idea how long this has been up and no idea if there's a fish, but we're gonna check it. I can't even feel. There is a fish. <laughs> No way. Feel decent? Um, not as big as the last one I caught on an iFish Pro. But it's a walleye. Everything's not working. <laughs> I love it. 
I can't get it past my freaking my tie. Oh no. <laughs> okay, maybe now. Hey, it's not that big. Oh no, it's the same size as mine. So yeah, these are about cookie cutter, or this one I should say is cookie cutter of the one, or the two that Cody just caught. But the bite has started back up. We actually only have one iFish Pro that is working currently. So what we're gonna end up doing, I'm gonna unhook this fish, release them. We're probably gonna go to the shack just cause it's really cold out. And most of these fish are swallowing right now. So we wanna make sure that all these fish go back properly. But I'm gonna take the iFish Pros out. We're gonna put some tip ups in and uh, maybe get back to jigging because we've had so many fish come in while jigging, but we just haven't been able to catch them because well, they weren't biting. Now with three flags, well, kind of under the assumption that they're biting. So let's unhook this fish and uh, get some more. All right, fish is unhooked. Decided it's never a bad thing. We got the warm shack. Just make sure to take care of them. We're not keeping any fish tonight, so he should be fine. There he goes. All right, well, we have some work to do. We have two tip-ups out of commish, an iFish Pro out of commish, an iFish Pro that needs to come in because it's completely frozen and probably isn't working and get replaced with a tip up. So we gotta replace everything actually. So yeah, let's go do it. Hello. Hello, what's going on? Jigging. You guys catching them? Uh, well, jigging, Cody just missed one, but we were occupied with three tip ups, so. Gotcha. We got two fish coming in right now. Um, well, I just wanna let you know I'm filling up with gas and I'll be on my way, so I'll be there. I'll be walking out at about 7.30 or maybe just before. All right, and yeah, we're not too far, so. All right, I'll leave you to it. I'll see you in a little while. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Oh, come on. Do it. Oh, he's right on it. He just ate it. Yes, he did. Oh, oh! Did too hard, dude. Oh, oh my God. I didn't mean to do it that hard, you but. it too hard, oh. dude. Oh, you had him. Oh, that one. Idiot! Oh my god. You freaking had him, dude. He's coming in. He's gonna hit. No way he doesn't hit. He's right on it. Yo. Do your push on. on. Alright, I'm gonna get this fish put back. Nick just hooked up. See you later, buddy. Cody just caught one. Thanks for playing. Oh, oh, nope, right here. Woo! Same size as mine. <laughs> Look at that, you guys. Dude, we are on them, though. Cody literally just caught one, and then, bam, this one came in. The I biting, they are, they are for sure biting now. Probably like a 17 incher, give or take. Beautiful colors on this guy. That was fun. They're definitely, they're definitely hitting because we just got back to back. And we did just get four tip-ups, so... I'm gonna have to get another middle on. Like I said, all we're doing is just got a circle hook and a little split shot and just sending it down. We're dead sticking, obviously, and um, set the hook when they bite. So simple, simple stuff, but man, is that fun when you're getting them jigging. Well, still lots of fish swimming through, but we're going through another law, Cody. I know. We got joined. <laughs> Brandon came out here What's and joined going on, us. Folks? So what we've noticed here, real quick, let me zoom in. You can see, look at how high that mark is. So we're not sure exactly what that is, but we're thinking maybe like some shad or perch. Shad or and small we're like perch. watching walleyes chase it. Yeah. Which is kind of crazy. I think it's going to be about time that you uh, get a tip up outside just because, I mean, if they're chasing shad or small perch, whatever it is, they're going pretty high up on the water column right now chasing bait. So I would think a feeding frenzy should be starting soon. Well, literally, what, seconds after you got done saying that we should get a tip up soon, I literally checked out the window and what I, do we have? What do we have? We got a tip up. I just know everything, guys. I just, I just know. I don't even know where the door is. That's what I don't know. It's over here. <laughs> All right. So if you guys are curious on. why Brandon joined us, well, he got done with work and uh, 
yeah, drove to the lake. He's out here. He's not sleeping with us or anything, but he is. He's just here to catch fish, apparently. What are you saying? You don't want to cuddle? <laughs> well, maybe, but you didn't ask. Hey, did you um? Did you know that uh, all the tip-ups are up actually? One there, and one there, and there's I think. Oh, tip up there, tip up there. What just happened? Literally feeding frenzy. Let's go. Look at that. Got him. Oh yeah. Does it feel? It does not feel huge. Can't tell though. Feels like he's swimming at me right now. Oh, there's the tug. Oh, he went into the other line. Okay, I see what's going on here. We've got an issue. Okay, this fish is now moving. Pretty... Okay, so just I guess. So he, we're hooked on two different lines oh here. That's goodness. why that one went up. This line. Okay, here we go. All right, we're gonna have a cluster here. Oh yeah, no. Oh, I saw the fish. There he is. Here That's we go. There we go. Wow. Decent little walleye. My first walleye of the night. I've been here for about maybe 15, 20 minutes. <laughs> Watch the guys out here jigging in the shack. Nick looks over, we got a tip up, and then we had another one. I'm like, what the heck's going on? Well, we got a little tangling going on is what happened, but nice walleye, beautiful colors to them out here. Got a little character, a little split right here up through the top, but man, that's awesome. I'm gonna go ahead, grab the pliers, start operating on them right away. There he goes. All right, well, glad we brought him in here to do that. It's a lot warmer. Another fish on the screen. That's a tip-up. That's actually a tip-up? Yep, that's oh, an actual tip-up. Oh, boy. Tip -up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, another tip-up. Actually, let me just check. Oh, yeah. Look at, grab my... look at that over there. There's a tip-up. Cody, are you going to catch a fish? I'm going to catch this one. It's been a little bit. Oh, oh yeah, yep, 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 it's spinning. Okay, well, that's a good sign. Oh, it's oh, it felt so big. Oh, that is tough. Felt like a real good one. No. No. I hate my life. It is so incredibly cold out here. So, normally I would wait until I saw any movement on this, but I'm not waiting. It is freaking cold. And there's a fish. Yep. Whew. Just a small one. Man, I'm almost to the point where I would rather almost take all the tip-ups out and just sit in there and jig. We are getting fish in and out of there, but um, we're still getting them out here, surprisingly. It's so incredibly cold, I'm gonna try to get this guy unhooked right away and uh, get him back. All right, probably like a 17 inch or so. Nice fish. Okay, buddy. Oh man, it is so freaking cold out here. It is absolutely insane. Haven't done a, a check of the temperature in quite some time, but I'm also down a couple layers. So I'm gonna get this set back up and I'm gonna sprint back into the shack. Oh God. Scrappy little guy. Oh. Woo! <laughs> Just came out. Probably 16 inch or get it really strong. Oh. Wow. All right, well, I wasn't actually gonna pick up the camera. I was just kind of dead sticking a minnow here. And uh, what we have going on is we actually picked up all the tip ups outside because it is so incredibly cold. We realized even with the blue tips, like what Cody has, we're not gonna wanna get out of these warm sleeping bags, this warm shack and go out and catch a fish. Yes, you have a chance at a giant, but I mean, realistically, yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm just not getting out of this. So what we did instead, we're jigging for now. Before we go to bed, we're gonna set up the iFish Pros. We're gonna put one over here, one over there for Cody and I with the blue tips on them. So that way when they go off, if they go off, we'll be able to get a notification on his phone, which is very loud, it's a train siren. All right, you guys, well, you can see we got the iFish Pro in, Frostbite Rod, Cody's got his right there. We're getting ready for bed. It's been a long, long day for us. Currently, right now, it is 11.30, and we've been on this lake since 1.30 which might not seem like that long, but when you're actually just sitting out here, it 
feels like a long time. Plus, we got up early this morning and actually did a bunch of fishing on some other lakes before we even decided to come here. Cody put the blue tips on these iFish Pros. We should probably hear them when they pop, but if we don't, we'll hear a train siren going off. So that should definitely wake us up. We put the biggest suckers we had on in hopes that we only have to wake up to a giant fish. We've caught a lot of those uh, 16 to 19 inches, which is fine. A lot of action, but we're looking for some big ones. I see this fish. There's a fish right now looking at my minnow. Is he going to hit? I don't know. We'll see. They've kind of been coming and going. A lot of them come through and don't even bother, or they'll come up and look at it. It's crazy on the live scope. It's like playing video games out here, so it's been really fun to watch. But we're going to get some shut eye. Hopefully, if I pick up the camera in the middle of the night, it's going to be hooked up to a giant walleye. What is going on everybody? Good morning. A little time check for you. I don't know how this is even physically possible, but Cody and I decided to really, really sleep in this morning. <laughs> we fell asleep. I don't know. It was probably midnight at the time we actually fell asleep. And um, yeah, surprisingly, I never, I got one flag throughout the night. And it just took the minnow and dropped it, so I didn't even record it. Cody just woke up to probably like a nice 18, 19 incher that he just caught. So that was that was a good morning wake up. But like I said, it's morning. Plan of attack right now, as much as I don't want to, is going to be taking everything out of this shack, breaking down the shack, packing it up, and heading back to the truck. So. That's what we're gonna do. It was a great night. I mean, you really can't complain and ask for much better. I mean, we could have hooked up maybe with a little more jigging, but first night ice camping. I'd say it was a success and I'm looking forward to doing it again. So let's start tearing it out. Alrighty guys, so we just took the shack down as you can see behind me. That's where the shack was. That is the shack back there. Turn it around. Somehow we have to fit all of this into that sled because his is already full ice camping is definitely a lot of work like i said this is the first time i've ever actually ice camped so i didn't really know what i was getting myself into but i have done a bunch of normal camping and it turns out you can't ever pack light when you're camping and then winter camping just adds a whole nother spectrum to it because well it's, right now it's snowing it's cold it's icy nothing works usually but i want to change anything it was a ton of fun and i really enjoyed it i know cody did as well if you guys want to see anything that he filmed he filmed an entire camping video also but all the fish catches he had are going to be on his video so if you guys want to check out his make sure to go over to his channel check it out because it's going to be a banger just like this one hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video and if you want to see more ice camping let me know because this is something that we can do more often we are pretty well set up for it uh, there's a few minor things that i probably would have changed for the future but you live and you learn so we are going to pack up the sled we're going to get out of here we've been on this lake for man we've been out here for almost 24 hours it seems like which is a very long time so i'm hungry i'm tired i want to get some food and water i got a headache a little bit but it was fun so again if you guys enjoyed today's video make sure to give it a like make sure you guys are subscribed because we're going to be pushing out the ice fishing videos all year long until we can't anymore oh, this is gonna be so fun. oh boy well, we got a lot of work ahead of us. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I will catch you guys on the next one. Tight Lines from NB Edits.